So Bloomberg drops out. And Warren drops out. And I happen to notice, so she's probably going to go for Biden. I happen to notice that um, the Young Turks, who are very, very, very left wing, right? They touted her as a hero. when she was taking on Wells Fargo and big banks and when she questioned Betsy DeVos down there to the ground, right? And she made her look stupid, which wasn't hard, but she did it anyway. They, they put her name way up here, right? She drops out. I didn't read the story because I was kind of disenchanted at the moment. Or in that moment because of the headline. It said Elizabeth Warren is embarrassing. And I didn't, like I said, I didn't go into it. I just, I actually clicked, I hit pause, and then I read the comments. And it just seems as though if it's not Bernie, they're not for it. And I get it. But why was she a hero when she was doing something y'all like, but when she drops out and probably not going for Bernie, now she's embarrassing. Like, this is why left-wing media has a lot of holes in it, too. So, what does Bloomberg dropping out? Steyer dropping out. Buttigieg dropping out. Warren dropping out. What does that mean for Biden? And what does that mean for Bernie? What does that mean for the election? The picking of a candidate? Let's see. What does it mean? Now, a long time ago, when I first started doing this, I always got the Queen of Swords, and then Kamala dropped out. I didn't think she had a chance, but I liked her. But she would always pop up, or at least the Queen of Swords would pop up, and she was the only Queen of Swords at the time. And then after she, after Biden jumped into the race, then I always got the King of Cups, and the King of Cups is... Um, I almost said Vladimir Biden. <laughs> Lord, don't do that. Um, the King of Cups is... I was going to call him Bertie Biden. What is the man's name? Joe Biden. <sighs> Joe. So, King of Cups is Joe. So what does it mean? Five of Pentacles. A drastic changing of the field. Oh, Lord. The Eight of Cups. That's the walking away. So then you have... Some of them had a drying up of money and support. Some of them walked away for new ventures. This is probably Warren. Buttigieg had money. Um... Like, I don't want to try to, compl to to plant conspiracies, but they didn't walk away on their own. Warren probably yes, because her support dried up. And if she's not going to start winning these states, then there's no point in keeping, you know, keeping this going. So she, she, she did the right thing, they say. And so the others just walked away for new ventures, which means they're going to have cabinet positions, more than likely. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, that legacy. This means that you're going to try to come together. Is basically what that means. King of Pentacles.
Supporting one candidate. Judgments. Resurrection. Strength. Like I said, supporting that one candidate is basically what they're going for. And then that, that DNC money. There's a resurrection of a problem around money. In last election cycle, when Hillary and Bernie were running, the story is, and this comes from Donna Brazil, who was the head of the DNC at the time, and um, Weisherman Schultz and all them people, that the DNC was left in debt because of Obama. Like, he put the DNC in debt. They were $5 million in debt. Which is a laughable story, because we're dealing with politics. They can find $5 million in the car park. You know, so it's, it's like, stop. That's, that's, the $5 million is what you're crying about. Every single one of them is worth at least that. So, I, anyway, that's, that's so arbitrary of an amount for that to be, you know, some sort of crippling factor for the DNC. So Hillary Clinton comes along and she pays off the debt for the DNC. Thus, the DNC is now working for Hillary Clinton. So Bernie Sanders had no choice. Well, he had, he had no choice. I meant chance. He had no chance, but he had a chance. But he had no chance with the DNC. The DNC was not going to support him because Hillary Clinton played off, paid off their Five million dollar debt, or three million, or whatever it was, we'll just say five, which again was a ridiculous amount. So, this time around, there seems to be that same type of situation not that Joe Biden paid off the debt, but that the, the monies that are planted within the DNC go to a specific person. That would be probably, if I assumed, this is just assuming, you know, the ass out of you and me, I'm just assuming it would probably go to the establishment candidate, which would be Biden. So the fear is the king of swords. So this is all about that guy. King of swords is Donald Trump. For those who don't know in my deck, so it's all about him, no matter who. Vote blue. Will of Fortune. So here's the turning of the tide. The Justice card. Fairness and balance. That's what you hope for. It's in the hope's position. The Hierophant. So, as of right now, it looks like it's going to be a... Um, a huge amount of support for one person. They didn't pop up here, so I'm not going to say any names, but that's what those people dropping out meant. Is that it's going to be a lot of support for one person. Vote blue.